It is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. <laughs> to reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. <laughs> our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. Our apps and their brands, they're not changing either. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. What face? Lizard man, what face? Hey, and welcome to Connect. Today, we're going to talk about the metaverse, starting with the most important experience of all, <laughs> connecting with people. <laughs> Such experience like so <laughs> connecting with people smile <laughs> that dead face <laughs> imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space it has parts of your physical home recreated virtually it has things that are only possible virtually mm -hmm. and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. <laughs> hey, are you coming? Yeah, <laughs> just gotta find something to wear. Yeah, uh, we're actually 12. All right, perfect. Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. Hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's awesome. <laughs> right? That's so cool. It's from a crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> Hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. She 3D knows street art? She's That's cool. About. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. wow. I love the movement. Wait, this is it's, taking amazing. it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Brilliant. Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. You'll get to decide when you want to be with other people, when you want to block someone from appearing in your space, or <laughs> when you want to take a break and teleport <laughs> to a private bubble to be alone. You're going to be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. Now, lots of things that are physical today, like screens, We'll just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV. It'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items mm -hmm. and project them into the physical world as holograms in augmented reality too. What, what is happening? One part of this is Horizon Home, which uh -huh. is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important. What is this lighting? People. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. That's You'll be able cool. to hang out, watch to videos out. together, and jump into apps together. VR chat. Then, there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create. And we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences from creating new games together to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. <laughs> Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And yep. while I miss seeing the people I That's work me. with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're gonna need better tools to work together. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. <laughs> Imagine okay, if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, those chance interactions <laughs> that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Now imagine 
that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. But they don't show and us as we actually, focused like... more on work, and frankly, as we've heard your feedback more broadly, fluff? we're working on making it so you can log into Quest with an account other than your personal Facebook account. We're starting to test support for work accounts soon, and we're working on making a broader shift here within the next year. I know this is a big deal for a lot of people. Not everyone wants their social media profile linked to all these other experiences, and I get that, especially yeah, as the metaverse expands. And I'll share more about that later. But I'm genuinely optimistic about work in the metaverse. We know from the last couple what of years that a lot of people network. can effectively work from anywhere. <laughs> but hybrid is going to be a lot more complex Guys, we don't shame when some people, people are look, together and kind of others are still remote. So giving everyone the tools to be present, no matter where they are, whether as a hologram sitting next to you in a physical meeting Your or in a discussion so taking place in the metaverse, me, that's going like to be a game changer. Manliness. I think this could be very positive way. for our society and economy. Giving people access to jobs in more places, no matter where they live, will be a big deal for spreading opportunity to more people. Dropping our daily commutes will mean less time stuck in traffic and more time doing things that matter. And it'll be good for the environment. We plan to continue to either subsidize our devices or sell them at cost to make them available to more people. We'll continue supporting sideloading and linking to PCs so consumers and developers have choice rather than forcing them to use the Quest Store to find apps or reach customers. And we'll aim to offer developer and creator services with low fees in as many cases as possible so we can maximize the overall creator economy while recognizing that to keep investing in this future, <laughs> we'll need to keep some fees higher for some period to make sure that we don't lose too much money on this program overall. After all, while a growing number of developers are already profitable, we expect to invest many billions of dollars for on. years to come before the metaverse reaches scale. Today, we're introducing the Presence platform, which is a broad range of machine mm -hmm. perception and AI capabilities that empower developers to build uh, mixed reality experiences on Quest 2. Now, you want to tell us more about the Presence platform? Yeah, we've said before that realistic presence is the key to feeling connected in the metaverse. Uh, and the Presence platform's capabilities are what's going to deliver on that promise. Things like environmental understanding, content yeah, place. Okay, very interesting. Glasses. Perspective. But the ultimate goal here is true augmented reality glasses. And we've been working on that too. And today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Glasses Azure, with cameras. I which can't is the code name for our first full augmented reality glasses. Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends on WhatsApp and planning a game. Good POV when you I can select your game, mom. And then, as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. There's a lot of technical work to get this form factor and experience right. We have to fit hologram displays, projectors, batteries, radios, custom silicon chips, cameras, speakers, sensors to map the world around you, and more into glasses that are about five millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. So we still have a ways to go with Nazare, but we are making good progress. 